Hey guys, so this is a quick video on a question that many uh, people who are new to JavaScript have about the prompt method. Uh, specifically, the question is how to get the value out of the uh, prompt dialog box. So let's get into it. All right, guys, so for my demonstration, I just have uh, two files here, index.html and script.js, which is currently empty. And here in my index, uh, let me just remove this. I just have a simple skeleton and uh, HTML skeleton. And I have in my body an h2 tag, which says hello. And then there's a span tag inside that with an ID of visitor. So we're going to be um, uh, putting um, a value in here dynamically, OK? Then I have a, uh, a link to my script, and um, here is my script. So first of all, let's make sure script is linked. Um, yep, so it's all working. All right, so one thing to realize about the prompt um, method is that the method itself outputs the value, okay? So it outputs a value. So this really is all you need to know about this. It's very simple. So let's just check here. If I type in, um, let's say, console log, and then I say, oops, and I say um, prompt, let's say, enter your name. OK, and if I save that, and let's say I enter the name Robert, press OK, you can see that in the console we get Robert. So what does that mean? Well, we basically logged out the value of the prompt method. So the method itself, again, returns uh, the value. Okay. Now, normally in code, we wouldn't actually console log uh, our value. We would actually want to save it to some kind of variable and then and then uh, insert it uh, somewhere in our code, right? So let's let me show you that. It's going to be a very kind of simplified example of this, but just so you get an idea. So let's say um, whatever name the user enters, I want to be able to insert it here after the word hello, right? So I want to say hello to the name of, um, and then the name of the person that's visiting my website. So let's just quickly do that using a prompt. So first of all, let me just grab my, uh, my span tag here. I'm going to say, uh, I'm going to call it uh, visitor equals I'm going to say document dot query selector and we're going to say um, visitor I believe is what we called it yes all right so the ID is a visitor and then we're going to well let's get rid of this we're going to start with our variable it's going to be a visitor's name so let's just say um, uh, just say name equals and we're going to say prompt enter your name. All right. Then after the after we get the name from the user, we want to output it into the span tag. So we're going to say visitor dot let's say enter text equals to name. Okay. Now right now you can see that the name is crossed out because we don't have the value for it yet. Right. We won't have the value until the the user enters the value. Um, so don't worry about that. So let's just save. And as you can see, we have here uh, our prompt uh, dialog box. Enter your name. Let's put in Robert. Enter. And we have hello, Robert. Right. So again, uh, what happened here, we had hello. And then once we entered the value for in our into our prompt, we also got uh, Robert, which we saved into the variable name. And then here we're saying, uh, so visitor, which is our um, our tag here, the span tag, uh, dot in HTML equals to the name. Okay, and that's why we get Robert. Okay, so again, this is a very simplified example, but hopefully it just kind of shows you uh, the general idea behind how we use prompt in code um, by simply saving it to a variable and then using that variable somehow later on in the code. Uh, that's it for this video. Good luck coding and see you in the next one.